Hey you guys, this is the Starlight Strategist bringing you an episode of Tech Talk. Um, today I'm talking about Magma Madness. Uh, one of those cards that I think has just been kind of swept under the radar. Uh, it came out in Rise, so it's been quite a while and there's just a lot of cards nowadays. So I think it's one of those cards that just, you know, it it was good and then it started seeing less and less play and now it's just kind of, it still works, but people, I, I you don't hear it being tossed around a lot anymore. Um, now, when you play Magma Madness, one of your creatures gets powerful attack, 4,000, and becomes a double breaker. Uh, this has a lot of utility with just so many cards. I mean, just the fact that the extra 4,000 puts chumps into kill range of so many cards. Just, you know, if it has 4,000 power or even more, you can now overtake Hive Queens. Stuff like that, you know, cards that just put in a lot of pressure you now have the ability to overtake them, especially when you know a queen is going to be swinging in. You can take out that queen right away. Um, I had featured this in one of my decks that ran Krylon Cannon and Prickleback. Now, Prickleback becomes a fast attack, bumps back to hand, and so if you play him for four, if you play him for four with Magma Madness, it becomes the same price as a Gill of Flame. It is a 5k double breaker that bumps back to hand when you break a shield, so it's becoming... A, almost a greater Gill Flame in a way. It's just, you know, I'm surprised this card doesn't see play in Red Rush lists, especially when you have so many chumps on the field, giving your just friggin' Blaze Belchers Double Breaker, stuff like that. It just makes all these chumps, these cards that are forced to attack, utility creatures, Evo Bait, it makes them into formidable foes. Um, another card that really kind of gets a nice boost off of it is Herald. Herald becomes a 9k. Uh, and now when he swings in, they are either forced to block it, or they take the, or you take the two shields. And if they block it, it will more than likely overtake them unless it's Granger, and you will be able to bump that dragon. So, just there's a lot of cards this can work with, help them out, put in a lot of work. Um, I know it, it just all your little things become much bigger things bigger threats and you know changing that time of the game one of those unexpected plays can really throw your opponent off and they have to change up their plan really quick and on the fly they can get flustered they can have made a bad mana choice the turn earlier that they had reserve but you know it's just one of those cards that just comes out of the blue puts in a lot of work and for three mana it's actually a pretty good bargain and yeah that's my thoughts on magma madness uh, let me know what you think, guys. If you want me to talk about any more text or whatever, leave a comment below. Uh, be sure to check out my other vids and uh, keep testing. Peace.